Hello, I'm Andrealism, and welcome back to Let's Play Nantucket, the whale murdering, stabbing, rendering down to blubber game. Uh, so, we are not doing particularly well at that whole blubber thing, because we're looking for whales and didn't find any, went to Pacific, still didn't find any, found some sharks, lost a load of provisions, aren't doing too well. We've got like 15 bucks to our name, and a ship, which is full of, well... Something rhymes with ship, considering a dysentery for most of the last episode. But anyway, the point being, we're looking for whales. We're looking for blue whales, and I do remember that they are on this side of the Pacific and this side of the Pacific. Now, they change because they migrate, so they could be anywhere on either side. But last time I was in New Zealand, which was about this sort of time, September-ish. It wasn't, you know, 200 years. It wasn't 1820 I was in New Zealand, but maybe it was. Tardis. Uh, but no, it wasn't. It was it was about September-ish when I was in New Zealand, and there were whale watching tours off the coast of New Zealand. And so I think there will be whales here now. Now I would probably want to go here, but since there's not really much room, I'm guessing the whales will be here. So let's go find whales. Please be here. Because they're up here or here. I can't remember. One one of them is like high in the middle of the year and then low the other and then the other one's the opposite. So I think they're here right now. Just drop anchor. And move a little bit further. Please. Yes! Finn ahoy! Your yells. Is your person? You, apparently, your yells as he spots a fin in the distance. It could be a precious whale. Could also be a shark. Been let down by that before. Okay. Last used. Um, I might actually trade out Roskip now. One of the things that I don't like about this game is the UI is okay. I like good UI. Why I can't just click you to get rid of you or click and drag, I don't know. Because there's literally nothing you can do with clicking them here apart from, like, look at the different dice. And that's a button. Why can't I just click you to move you? Don't know. I have to click withdraw. Jesse, I will assign you instead. The reason I'm assigning Jesse is because maybe it's a one-time protect maneuver is actually useful. Is that blue whales, if it is a blue whale, I think it's probably going to be, have an attack that stuns. Object that doesn't affect me. And their attack that stuns is like damage and a stun. And I do not want to stun my only hunter. So having this maneuver which protects you is good. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll the hunting die. And great. So five damage and a stun. Crew members get plus twenty percent damage. I do nine normally. If I get the plus twenty percent, I will kill in one shot. So let's just hope I roll a or not. Okay, I'm gonna protect the million. There we go. No damage, stun resist. Again, another damage. We can work with this. Ten damage! One punch! Dead whale. Okay, and we get ten blubber. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Blue whales are great. That's why you hunt the blue whale, because you want that blubber. Poor blue whales. Um, we're also going to probably want to make sure you're healing. You are. Okay. And someone... Ooh! Willard has upgraded. Level 2 now. Right. So, we get to choose a branch. Oil master, cook, or carpenter. Uh, two of the things we desperately want is a level 5 cook or a level 5 oil master. Because then we get the triworks and the caboose unlocked. And then we can install those on our ship. Which means if we can unlock those... We can buy new ships that require us to have those. A lot of ships do. Especially the Triworks, because as I've like spent a long time talking about last episode, oil is amazing. It sells so good. So we're going to go for Oil Master for you, I think. And make sure you heal up. So there are blue whales here, and it is active. And it will be active until the 21st. So let's try and chill here and get a few more. That was quite quick. Okay. Didn't expect it to be quite that quick. The downside here is we're going to have a still injured Willard. Um, I'm going to actually withdraw Willard. Just because he's a little bit hurt. And I'm very afraid that a few like stuns in a row could really ruin our game. So straight up, strike first. Bam. Good roll. Okay, stunning Roscoe. That's fine. We can deal with this. And there we go. Blue whale. Yeah. Oh, 
we can get another whale in. Did anyone level up? Um, Cortex being researched in Nantucket. Help will of a personal issue. Rise from the ranks. Get prestige 25. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to chill here. Look for some whales. Uh, I'm going to withdraw you. Withdraw you, put Willard in, and then put Jesse in. Because I want my reroll in the middle. It's just a thing that I like. I want my hunters, then my reroll, and then anything else. Right. Hello, Blue Whale. It's risky fighting Blue Whales this early. A bad like, set of rolls could end up a stun chain. That would be bad. Okay. Crew member damage minus 20%. Doesn't make much massive difference to us because we'll still kill in two hits. Normally, if we could hit. Jesse could totally die here. I'm going to retreat. So what the retreat button does is it basically says, I'm not going to do anything this turn. You get one attack and then we leave. Hit Jesse, Jesse will die. Okay, dead Jesse. At least it was only Jesse. Nobody likes Jesse anyway. Back to the ship. You order the men to turn the whale about and withdraw from the fight. Your men silently obey. And we didn't get anything. And that's quite a negative morale. Jesse's buried at sea. We also now need to tell someone to, you know, put the ship. Right. Let's go back. Gonna need to hire some new people. Willis Lay increased by 1%, but we did manage to get $470 for our 20 blubber. And that equates to 4 to 6 for us and 44 for the crew. We're gonna need to hire someone. Uh, we've got a lot of prestige though. Uh, I kind of want someone who's got the captain's cabin ability, but I don't think anyone here does, and I can't afford a 10 anyway. What is that? Confusing maneuvering. Hmm. I guess we'll get Benny for now. Since you are a two. No, no one here's got like a level five tribux or anything. Right. How are we doing for everything else? Food, we could sell some food, because quite honestly, we don't need 280 days worth of food if we're gonna hunt more whales. Because we want to try and hunt lots of whales. Uh, we'll also buy some grog. Bit of wood. Bit of water. Doing much better now. Right. Now, let's go look for some more whales. Did if someone die, quickly replace them. No bother. I'm glad we came into town and then we're like, yeah, we need to hire someone. Why would you last person? Didn't you didn't you just come through here like a week ago? Yeah, funny story there. Um so this is active until the 21st of September, at which point I think they'll migrate north, so by the time we get there. Don't want to be there, so I'm gonna just hope that by placing myself to the north of them. Right, see, they've moved. It's not active anymore, and I'm hoping they'll be around here until so I've gone north, because they'll want to go to like warmer climate. Oh, warmer climates? I don't know. Yeah, below the whale boat. Okay, whale. Uh, that's used. And then Benny, who actually has a basic maneuver. Uh, sure. Yes, blue whale. Sweet. So what does this do? Oh, I think it removes a card of theirs. Okay. 
I'll take a protective maneuver on Vermillion. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Or we could, you know, roll nothing. That's great. Seriously, we're going to lose another sailor. Crew member damage plus 20%. Right, here we go, Vermillion. One hit kill. He, uh, in, in my head cannon, Vermillion totally kills Blue Wells of One Punch. Hi, Benny. Welcome to the group. That's a proper welcome, isn't it? Um, I was going to say you should be, you know, sailing the boat, but I think you shouldn't be. I think you should be healing. Uh, right. In which case, this... Oh, this is the migration path to Wales. Let's just go and chill here. And get more whales. So I'm going to go last use, and then I'm going to remove you and put Roscoe in your place. Crew mode damage reduced. That sucks. No one is healing, so I might as well put you on a uh, cabin boy. Not going to make massive difference to us anyway, because two hits will still kill. Sure, stun Roscoe. Oop. Two punches. Multiple consecutive punches. Bam. Okay. And Roscoe got a plus one level. Sweet. I think so, at least. Oh, yeah. But I don't need to do anything because you're just going up your track, so you'll get something at level five. You get... Rabdomancy. Unlock the option to get water in safe dock. Kind of really terrible. Yeah, we want someone who's got the sick bay ability, not that. But, oh well. Uh, for now, I think what we'll do is we'll still hunt some more whales. Hopefully get a little bit of heal on. There we go. I think we've got enough heal on there. Okay, so aside... Oh, uh, use last used, then remove you... The place with Benny. Please don't die, Benny. Hunting dice are useless. That's great. Um, you know what? I'm going to retreat. Because <laughs> straight up, I can't do anything this turn because I've got a reroll or hunting dice. So I might as well take the retreat. Okay. You know what? Sometimes discretion is a better part of valor. Okay. Not bad. Now, can I just check? Do we have someone who's got, like, the healing ability? Emergency kit in combat. That's pretty nice. Um... Annoying. Seasick. Less HP regained during navigating. Yeah, I don't really want any of you. Because I was thinking about firing Roscoe and just getting someone else. Don't think that's going to be an option. Uh, mm, no, don't want any of you either. Right. Let's sell some food because it will free up space in our hold. Grab some water. Grab a grog. Okay. Let's go find more Blue Well. Now, the issue is, until I really hit level 2 of my character, Vermilion, we're not going to be able to be particularly safe. Because at the moment, it's going to take us, majority of the time, two hits to kill any Blue Whale. What we want is the ability to just go, bam, with the strong trait giving plus 2 damage. Really does help. Uh, once it's active to 21st, yes, yeah, so we can go camp out here. What's this? Active well migration room. Okay. Do, 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 do. I've got no idea what that transition is. It transitions through something like that fix up for like one frame that's red. I don't know if you see it as well, but it's kind of strange. Last used. Uh, yes. Object. Oh, I don't have that. It's fine. I'll take it. Strike. Bam. One punch. Not enough. 
Willard? Okay. Now, evasive maneuver could be used to remove that card, but we can also remove that card by killing the whale. It's a pretty solid way of doing it. So, yoink. I will take all your blubber and your food. We'll expand here. I need to put Willard in there. Okay. And hopefully... Hopefully... Can to get ourselves some whales? No? Ooh! Level up! Okay. So, I think we need an extra point in hunting. We can also get a skill. Now... I think we can get a skill from basically anywhere. But we probably want one involving hunting. So we got Fasten. Uh, we gain Fasten against sea creatures. Damage plus add bleeding plus add Fasten to target. Which means that they can't dive. But bleeding is nice. Covering fire against humans. Eh. Hit points increase every two time. Uh, every by two every time he levels up. So we become harder to kill. Since we're the captain, that's kind of important. I'm very tempted by that. But I feel that having the hunting die gain fasten, so instead of three sides on the dice, we get four. That increases our chance of having, you know, some stabby stabby damage from 50-50 to 66% of the time. 67 if you round up. Or just round. I'm going to totally go for this, so. We're going to get ourselves a very nice fasten. Uh, and with that... I believe this is no longer an active migration route, so we're going to need to find the migration route for the whales. So they went north. I'm going to follow them. Perilous waters and setting without wind. Great. Just great. Okay. They should be here because this ends here, so... One of the water barrels is leaking. No! Come on, there's got to be wells here. Unless they went, like, east or something. Come on. Maybe they've gone already. They've probably gone already. It's now, like, November. I'm going to assume they go up to, like, here-ish. So I'm just going to go north. And try and find them. Really? We're without wind for this long? Can we just have some wind, please? There we go. Have a look around here, see if we can find some more whale. We've got Honolulu nearby if we start running out of food and provisions. No, don't be gluttonous. I'll pop back to Honolulu, why not? I think they've got an upgrade. Oh, no, the whale boat. We found them. Please be blue whales. It is! Sweet! And there we go, 10 damage. Bam! One punch, that blue whale. Oh, so I've actually found where they were going to. Ah, that's why I couldn't find them. Let's hunt some whales. That's quite nice, because they're at Honolulu, and then they're at New Zealand. We've got two ports. This is a very minor port, but whatever. We'll totally do this. Come on, blue whales. And one punch on that blue whale. So much better. I've got the extra damage and the extra chance. Um, I've got four cargo space. Well, they stay here until March. Yeah, we can totally afford to pop to Honolulu. Uh, no, don't get the gourmet trait. If you get the gourmet trait, you'll be a picky eater. No, 
Take the morale hit. Don't become me as I just get out of the blue whale area. Right. That's some good profit right there. Managed to get 640 for ourselves. Standard shelving upgrades being installed. I think... Have you got like a medic here? You do have a proper medic with sick bay and health points regained by resting in the forecastle ship command increased by two. That's really nice. That said, we've also got someone here with the caboose skill, which is something we want. No one here with the captain's cabin. That's fine. I think what we'll do is we'll fire you and we'll grab you. Now, firing someone does cost you a prestige. Totally worth it, in my view. Um, I can only like research one thing at a time, though. So, actually, we will get rid of Willard. Plus 50% morale for crew members' deaths. Okay. Moderate. That's food consumption. Smart. Plus one working attribute. You know what? Yeah, I'll have you. Right. I've got a good crew here. Can't change your name, can I? Benny? No? No, okay, Benny. Right. Benny. Ka'uhu. And Kama. Let's do this. Yeah, I want to let him go, even though he's got a quest. Because, you know, he sucks. Uh, jobs. Discover new whaling area. Doesn't say how far away. Okay. Oh, no, it's because I've done it. Okay. And you're a level 9 job, so no. Right. We need more water. Uh, we sell a load of food. Good money. I'll be getting a load of food from whales anyway, so... And then I think I want to try and research the sick bay. Maybe that's above hammocks or something. Crew morale. HP restored per day. Oh, surgical kit. Ah, here we go. Yeah, requirement. A man has sick bay skill. Man has a name. Uh, yeah, we're totally going to get that. So let's research that. Oh, I got the first one instantly. And then I could research the second one. Sweet. Uh, sure. Right, in which case, let's go hunt a few more blue whales. This episode's going to be, like, just the blue whale episode. we got to get the blue whales. Because, like, the blob is worth a lot. We're up to, like, almost 2,000 as well. As soon as we get, you know, a few thousand, we'll be good to just start pinging around, doing maybe some minor quests. Quests are, in my experience, pretty hard on this game. Um, you need to be, like, level 7, really, to do some of them. Uh, and also, the ones that you don't need to be cost you a lot of money. For not really any gain, so... Mm. Um, but also, we definitely, 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 definitely want to just get loads of research done. Because as soon as you do the research, you can unlock the boats and we can get a better boat. Otherwise, we'd be spending a lot of time in this boat with three people. Oh, 50-50 chance of gambling while walking ships taking. There's a few of your men throwing dice. I could forbid them to... I'm just going to not waste my money on stupid games. I don't have a 50-50 chance of plus or minus 50 bucks. Like... I don't see the real gain in that. Alright, let's go. Hunt some whales. With, you know, pretty new crew. So, Bernie. Kami are in.
Let's do this. Oh, 23 HP. Uh-oh. Yeah, because I upgraded the people on my boat, the game's now like, okay, cool. You can take on really difficult challenges. No. That might have been a mistake. That was probably a very large mistake. Okay. At least it's worth something. Right. Seven damage and a stun. Okay. It's going to dive. I think it's the only thing that affects it. So it's going to dive down. There we go. It's going to play Lobtail. So we want to try and do a, like, a protective move. Evasive maneuver. Right, there we go. It gets rid of its ability, so that's nice. Now, after it attacks, it comes up. So dive only lasts like a turn. We just need to hit it once. Oh, yeah. That's how it's done. And we get 20 blubber. So it's like two of the newborns. And you are injured, so you down to here. Eh. Harpoon. Plus five harpoon damage. We're going to just continue to hunt a little bit more. Because two of those whales fills our hold and then some. Okay. Let's do it. And you get stunned to begin with. Seems like a good day to me. Uh, we don't need to protect ourselves, so... I guess we'll use a clumsy strike. It'll take three hits to kill it, so... Uh, I could have faced maneuver, but that's pointless because I need to hit you to kill you, so. Okay, Benny's stunned. And there we go! The extra HP really helps, but really just that level 2 of strong, just being able to do 10 HP in a hit. Okay, I've actually got some left. I'm actually going to drop some food to get the extra blubber because it's worth more. Uh, I mean, actually, I could drop water because water's worth so little. We could just get food instead of water. I'll make sure I've got two just in case. And we'll go drop that off. Hi. Now, the issue here is that by constantly going here to drop off our blubber, we're going to drop the prices here, I think, because they do tend to fluctuate. So I think they fluctuate by, like, going down if you sell lots. What's our crew? Oh, critic's only percent. That's fine. Buy ourselves some water. Sell ourselves some food. Actually, sell, like, a load of food because we're going to get more when we hunt more whales. And sail away. Now, I think our thing is going to be ready here in like April. And the whales stop being a thing around Honolulu in like March. So we can just keep hunting them through March. And then grab our upgrade after March in April. And then we can leave. What's the time now? Late January. Yes, yeah, so we've got like a couple of months to be able to farm more whales. Just hopefully don't die. That said, a lot of whales around here. We've just been making a significant dent in the whale population. This is only one whale boat. Oh, it's a newborn. Eh. Bam. One punch that... I'm just... It's like it's a freshly born whale. It's like a baby. And I'm just murdering the baby. I feel very bad. I don't feel very bad. Capitalism is, like, great. So, you know, there's that. I'm just gonna... Put some more. Oh, yeah. I do imagine Captain Vermillion just jumping off the boat, like, whoa, like superhero, like jump punch. Against a baby whale. Okay, it does paint it a somewhat different picture. Crewmos can't target sea creature commands. Okay, I mean, hit the sea creature, we just can't target it, like, its attack. So, like, this here, evasive maneuver, we couldn't target its, like, actual abilities. 
Not that I need to, because one punch. Oh, yeah. Profitable whaling all of a sudden. We were having trouble, and suddenly profitable whaling. All right. Ooh, right, this is our first multi. The problem with this is you've got two people who can do stun attacks. So if we don't open up right... There we go, good. Two people with stun attacks will lock down two-thirds of our crew. This would actually be a situation where I'd be like, we should maybe probably run away. But luckily we can wipe one of them out really quick. Okay, object dies. There we go. I don't want to jinx us, but we have had a good run of luck in just getting, like, lots of hunting commands. And how much water do I have? I can dump some water. Again, water's super cheap, so I'm not too worried about having too much water. Ooh, and level up? Don't mind if I do. Now, we could level up hunting, or we could start grabbing some things in, like, science, so we have, you know, alternate things if we're blocked from doing hunting. Um... Probably not crafting, because you don't want multiple rerolls. Because it's like, well, what are you going to do with the rerolls if you've got two people with rerolls? Uh, we could do sailing for protection. I don't know if you can protect yourself with sailing, though. Science might be the way to go forwards in that. Just make sure we've got one person who can do some healing. Yeah. And technically, we can change this and, like, buy some new ones. Pain Master is nice, because we can get that, which is uh, um, attacking the secret creature causes bleeding. But we would lose the extra slot of, uh, you know, an extra attack, which is the lasso one. I want the extra attack, so no. And I know we've got this. Go away. Shoot. Right. Uh, we're full, so I guess... What's the price in Nantuck in Honolulu? 20.6. The average price is 20, so it's still above average. So we'll go and we'll sell our lovely stuff. Oh, yeah. New issue in the newspaper. Oh, okay. Shops, what you got? Goods delivered from Honolulu to Imbitua. We need 25 cargo space. Unveil the Maryland's destiny. Sure, we'll investigate the Maryland. She was going to Imbatua. Well, that seems like a very set quest, doesn't it? I could do it. But... <sighs> do we really want to not hunt whales? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hunt whales. We can pick that up in like a month's time if it's still there. Because whale hunting gives us experience and prestige... And monies, which seems pretty good to me. Otherwise, we have to go all the way to here. I've got two water on board. Probably should have got more water. Let's get more water before we all, like, accidentally die of dehydration. Not as much water as I did last time, though. We need to sell some food as well. Uh, the load scenes aren't particularly long, but for this kind of game, they do feel quite long. Okay, so we've got like one more month we can hunt whales. That was a quick one. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it right. There's a lot of whales just coming in and getting murdered. Which is a good thing for us, not for the whales. They seem they prefer not to be murdered. But, yeah, I'll take a, a young blue whale, sure. Right, that's one hit. It hits camera. This is still risky. It could definitely kill... Oh, it's going to go for a dive. Okay. Uh, that's basically useless. Okay. Now, because it's dived, we can't use any attacks. So this is a great time for us to switch to a science and go for a heal. 
which we will do. Bam, see? Useful. Multiclassing is great. Unfortunately, Vermillion gets hit, which sucks. And you're gonna dive again? Really? We can cancel your dive, though. Oh, yeah. Apparently, evasive maneuvering allows you to evade their ability to... I, I don't know how it works, but yeah, sure. Oh, God. If you hit the million once more, we could totally lose here. Protect the million. Yes! Stop it! We just need to hit him once! Oh, you're playing dive, right? This is a safe time. I just... Oh, for God's sake. I couldn't risk it. If we'd have gone for the extra turn, they'd have got to attack us. We wouldn't be able to defeat them at all with an attack. So we'd have had to just play protectively. And there's a good chance we'd have died. We just needed one attack. Or a reroll on our attack. But we were stunned. Oh, just, ah. Oh. Alright, let's get our heals. We've got enough food. We've got enough water. Okay. Alright, come on. Let's try and find that whale. I want revenge against that whale. See what I mean about, they're actually kind of dangerous if they get the stuns in the right way, or if a few bad cards turn up, they can really hurt you. It only takes like three hits to kill you. That's that it only takes three hits to kill them. So statistically, because you've got more people, you should be better off. You're not, because RNG sometimes kills you. You need to get lucky every time, whales don't. Because, you know, there's lots of whales. Not the individual whales. Obviously, they tend to suffer. Okay, it's rainy. Lala. This is going to be last used. I don't know why it just doesn't default to last used. Right, so it's the same blue whale. That's my head cannon. It's the same blue whale. Right, you're going to die. I'm going to take the strike. Okay. One more punch. Take the million. You're gonna die. I should have actually re-rolled because protecting the million did nothing. I should have re-rolled and hoped I got a face maneuvering. I uh, can't hit you in attack, so I might as well science. But science dies are disabled, so I don't know why I bothered doing that. Oh yeah, protected. Before you can dive. That's how we do it here. Hope people like eating whale meat, because it's pretty much all we eat on this ship. Uh, now. Kama and me need to heal. I'm more important than Kama. Sorry, Kama. Kama, 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 Alien. Come and go. We come and go. That's a pretty quick uh, hunt. Sure. I'm almost fully healed. Uh oh, right. Oh no, don't randomly stun me. If you stun me, I'll be very sad. Stunning camera, okay. Okay. Kama could die next turn if they both target Kama. Fasten does bleed. Does fasten. I don't need it because that's dead.
Oh, poor Kama. I could heal Kama, but I've got a higher chance of actually just killing the blue whale. There we go. Good thing about heals is they do last outside of combat, so you heal someone, they will stay healed. Rather than having to spend, you know, days and days healing up afterwards. And suddenly becalmed. Right. We are properly rich now. Good amount of money. How long till this is done? Oh, the one thing I don't like is this screen. It doesn't say quite easily, you are researching something here. It doesn't say that. It should say, you're researching something here, or you're researching, or you're researching this here. You've got a mouse over each of these. Be like, that's been researched in Nantucket. It doesn't say that's complete in Nantucket, which it is. It just says that's been researched there. This one says, unlock sickbay compartment. Not supported by current ship. But it does unlock new ships. Being researched in Honolulu, which is here. It doesn't say that. Also, it doesn't say how long till it's going to... This, this game is out, by the way. This is one of the... I have some gripes about this game. Don't worry. I think it's, it's a reasonably good game. I don't think it's great. I think it's a reasonably good game. But a lot of my gripes come down to... It just doesn't explain this stuff. It makes you have to... I just... Uh, um, so, that's annoying. Uh, if we want to upgrade our ship to this one, we will need a cook stove and we will need sails, which has been researching now, which is done. So we just need the cook stove, actually. Which means we need some of the caboose skill, which I think we have. We do. We just need to not be researching here. Okay. We could totally get ourselves a bigger ship. Cargo space is a little bit bigger. HP is double. Speed is double. Max crew is double. Well boats two. Medium sure. Hmm, I could definitely go for that. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any of these. Uh, there are some other ships in other places that are also available, so it might be look, you know, worth looking like shopping around and stuff. But for now, I think it's probably gonna be something like this that we're upgrading to. Because this is a pretty it's a pretty decently sized ship. It's pretty small, but can actually fit six people in, and the speed is good. Remember, the faster you are. The more cargo you can effectively carry because it's cargo per second, right? It's how quickly you can get the cargo back to port, come out, get more cargo, go to port. You can be very slow with a large hold, or you can be very fast with a small hold. They work out roughly the same. You need to figure out the exact ratio, but point stands. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to sell off some of our food. And what I'll probably do is, off camera, I'll hunt some more whales until the air is depleted. Um, because we're coming up to the end of this episode. And then next episode, we'll go around and research loads of stuff and hopefully buy ourselves a new ship. Probably that one. So for now, I think we are good. I've been Aaron If you like, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, do stay shiny. Also... Eat your whale meat because it's the only thing you're getting. Seriously, if I'm in charge, it's the only thing you're getting.